That's a great way. The best way to start a streaming show is to just talk it's, about whether you're streaming or not right at the top. Yeah. I mean, people people want to know whether you're streaming. Yeah. We are. But a lot of them will figure it out from the stream. From the fact the that you exist or don't yeah. exist. Yeah. Fuck yeah. This is, that's so interesting. Though. That's so interesting. Is it? No. No. Welcome to Dark Matters. This is Dark Matters. Oh, I have to burp. Mm. Oh boy. Do you think we'll ever win? What are the what are the awards for for Twitch shows? I don't know the the Twitchies, <laughs> the Twitchies. The uh, I don't know Chats you. I don't Choice know Awards. Twitch. Chats Choice Awards. We should have. We should have Chats Choice Awards. We should do Mattersies again. We should do Mattersies. Um, it's been a while, so we we've got to get our our stimulus packages out. Oh my God, we're so bad. I'm so bad at everything. We're far behind. You know, much much like the federal government we can we can get far behind on oh on getting people money i'm good at like two things i'm good at my job and i'm like good at being a dad yeah and i'm like bad at everything else right now yeah uh i mean that makes sense you got you got a little one is uh, any any do we have a reggie update how is reggie, how's reggie? The, uh what's up the horny adjusting. in the chat um yeah he had his two-month doctor's appointment and everything's looking cool. good that's great. On the growth chart, all good. <clears throat> Been watching a lot of baseball with Oscar. He likes he likes all the Aww. numbers. He likes the numbers in baseball. Yeah, of so course. So he likes to yell, like two ball. I'm a, I want to be here. Two balls, one strike. Uh, uh, uh. Two one count. Mm -hmm. He gets it. He gets it. Is Oscar swinging on a two-one pitch? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I want to get him a bat and a like a bat to swing at a, you know, like a bat. I mean, he's he's t-ball age now, right? I guess so. I think they have three-year-old t-ball. I mean, that would be a disaster. But ah, uh, but that's not the point. The point is to go get drunk and cheer your kids on. Yeah, get drunk. Get drunk. By the way, speaking of drunk tonight, Michael Bilo gets high. Yes, we're celebrating. We're celebrating a little bit early, the the four hundred and twenty holiday. By me, by getting me high, uh, and uh, and you know, fans of the show will notice that I'm I'm drinking coffee. Uh, I've taken to drinking coffee before the show. I'm drinking coffee also during the show because if if I don't, then this show where I get high is going to be the show where I fall asleep. Oh my god. Very soon. Wait, make your screen a little brighter. It's hard to see you. Oh god. and also yeah. lean shift to to your right. Alright, right. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see myself on Twitch drifting a little bit. Yeah. Wonder how far you'll drift into the unknown. We want to hear your stories about getting high. About yeah. The token, the ganj, you know what it is. The sticky icky. Yep. Uh, the, the devil's the devil's lettuce. Yeah. Jazz cabbage. My favorite. <laughs> my favorite. <topic. laughs> uh, I've got. We've got some stories to share. I've got a few. Oh, you know what video I should show? I should, have I ever showed the wizard stick video? No. On here. Oh my God. The time. We well, gotta show this wizard. Oh, I gotta find this. All right, my friend Andy Morris sent this to me. Oh yes, I just have to figure out how to play it. Okay, so this is a hold on. This is a video of the time that I um. We used to know this guy Shane, whose dad had two businesses. He lived out in the desert. And one of the businesses was he trained uh, border collies. <laughs> and uh -huh. the other business was he grew uh, marijuana in shipping containers in the desert. And this is when weed was still not legal. This was like, wow, geez, at least 10 years ago. This man is uh, a criminal. He deserves to go to jail. And so one time we got to go there. And basically, I guess for the weed that they sell at the dispensaries. What am I doing? 
the weed at the dispensaries, they want the nuggets. The nuggets? The nugs? What are they called? Uh, they, I think nugs is, is what they're nugs, usually referred to, but nuggets, sure. But they want them to be really tight, so you have to like cut them with scissors. Thank you. You can see how much I smoke weed based on this dialogue. Do Dilly Queen saying they call it a bud. They wanted them trimmed really tight, so you had to like basically get like a paper shopping bag and you would just trim the buds really tight and put them in a jar, and then you can get basically our payment for doing this labor was all the shake weed that we trimmed off the bud. <laughs> so we got really, I don't think I've ever been this high before. <laughs> And I, I found this giant stick on the ground. I hope this video plays. Uh, I found this giant stick on the ground that I thought looked like a wizard stick. So this is a video of me like 10 years ago being super high. Hold on. Oh man, I can't wait. Here it is. I hope it's playing. Yeah. My name is Frankie. This is my wizard stick. I found it on the ground. It's playing, yeah. It's about seven feet tall. It's got spikes on the bottom. There it is. That's me with my wizard stick. All right. I'm glad I remembered to play that video. <laughs> Are you just are you just high? Just like I'm you, that's just so you, high in that video. That's just you high. Um the worst the worst high I ever got was I uh I have a friend named Brandon who smokes a lot of weed, like too much weed. And um I he uh, I had gone to this party with a bunch of people who were playing beer pong at my friend's house uh i drank a lot and then smoked what i thought was a relatively small quantity of weed while very drunk um and then we were all supposed to go to the room in santa monica um what's, and what's the room I, what's the room the room in, oh the, the room, room the movie, is, you mean? uh no the room the, it, i think it was it was a club basically bar slash club called the room um in santa monica people that it was early early 2010s early 2010s pretty pretty big i think it closed down i don't remember um uh there are anyway uh i got into some guy's very fancy car uh it was like him his girlfriend and like he was for some reason taking me what do you and mean I... got into some guy's car I was like going with like a big group of people and there were whatever number of cars going there but I was I was already just like so I was a combination of like way too drunk and immediately way too high um and I I just like the fact that you just got into some guy's car that's, that's... I mean I was yeah I did not know this guy I, I did not know this guy and he had a very fancy car and I knew that I did not want to throw up all over the back of his car, even though I really felt like I was going to throw up. I think probably I had more friends back there. I don't really remember because all I could think about was like trying not to throw up. And I, I got, I was meditating a lot to try to not throw up. And what I did to meditate was I pictured my lungs, uh, outside of my body like the like sort of the cartoon diagram of like your your heart and your lungs with like red blood and blue blood coming into your heart and my lungs just inflating and deflating and my heart beating in like a just a cartoon of how everything's Wait, operating are you, are you like high every... right now are you high already? i'm not high right now you sound this, like is, this is like the level of of asinine detail that you're going into <laughs> it's like sounds like a high person but <laughs> this is this is what I remember to, to just try not to throw up, which I managed to do until we got to the Jack in the Box uh, on like 17th in Santa Monica. Then I just rolled out of the car and puked. It was the mentally strongest I've ever been in my life. Speaking of Jack in the Box, I got this giant diet soda from Jack in the Box because I'm trying to not fucking eat. I'm trying to I'm trying to get slim for my new post COVID. Bod, you know what I mean. We're gonna be spending a lot of yeah. time in the hot tub. You know what I mean. I want to get. I want the hot, hot tub. Matters is coming. Bod. 
I once I once passed out in the bathroom of Jack in the Box on Sunset in Coinga. That was fun. Ha! That's a terrible uh, uh, That's Jack like in the Box. One of the worst places to pass out at Jack in the yeah. Box bathroom. Uh, eight one eight six five zero three two seven five. Tell us your weed stories, or I mean, close calls and say. <laughs> you know, let us know. Where have you passed out? Where's the worst place you've passed out? Got yeah. J Flesh Ten in the chat thought that this was your first time smoking pot. That would have been a much better show. It would have been a much better show, but my first my first time smoking pot was in uh, was in my sophomore year dorm room uh, in college, where uh, it was somebody had made a basically like a piece out of a Fiji water bottle, a that, small one. That is the a, most a Yale thing I've foil. ever heard in my life. <laughs> Yeah. You were so at Yale. Hold on, at Yale they smoke weed out of Fiji water bottles. Mm-hmm. Somebody, uh, my my <laughs> roommate who Fuji. my roommate who was high all the time uh, made a made basically a piece out of a, a sixteen ounce Fiji water bottle and putting aluminum foil over the cap. Yeah, God for God forbid a, ta- a tap water. <laughs> Uh yeah. Uh, and I've got to say, yeah, didn't didn't enjoy that experience. Yeah. Um, I actually didn't really get high either. Um, just uh, inhaled a bunch. Me, of I only smoke out parts. of Voss. I only smoke out of Voss because <laughs> it is glass. Yeah. I think one of the... well. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. One of the first times I smoked weed in high school. Uh, with my friend, my friend Ivan, his dad uh, was a lawyer in Russia. Like I would, I want to say he was a Russian lawyer, but that just makes it sound like that's his nationality. He was a lawyer yeah. who worked in Russia, and he was a single dad. And I never understood what the wow. arrangement was. And so he would just let Ivan. We were like in high school, and Ivan could just be alone in the apartment. And he would hide hundred dollar bills around the apartment, and he would also. And he was so he would like call him every other day and let him know where another hundred dollar bill was hidden. Oh my god! But of course, uh, we would just like ransack the apartment and find the hundred dollar bills <laughs> all at once. Anyway, <laughs> and you should show off show off your goods while I finish telling the story. Yeah. About, uh, what do you have there? Uh, I've got right here. Let's see if we can we can see this. There we go. Uh, this way, this way is maybe visible. Sugar bud. Uh, sugar bud. This is animal face. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's written on here anywhere. What does that mean? Uh, according to, uh, I don't. According to the very nice person at the at the dispensary, this is a stony sativa, so okay. it will get me stoned. I chose okay. stony rather than rather than happy because yeah. this is not this is not happy matters, and, right. and people want the type of thoughts. Will come out when I'm stoned. Eight one eight six five zero three two seven five. So I've yes, at my friend Ivan's, tiny amount of weed. Ivan's house, and his dad would bring home weed from Russia that he would smuggle back into the U.S. No way! Yeah, that's insanity. And apparently, like, and this was like the most because this was in New York City in the like late nineties, early two thousands, where you could not get good weed. This this was not like um. This was not like California now where you get super strong weed everywhere. Like the weed that yeah. you would get in New York back then was like, you know, was like from the inside of some guy's shoe that you met on the corner. And it was like not strong at all. But the weed from Ivan's dad was like the strongest weed ever. And then we, we, we would see like colors and shit. We smoked it. It was ah, nuts. Ah. And then we realized that we, we realized that we think the weed was laced with PCP because that's like, I guess Russian yeah. marijuana is like notoriously yeah. laced with PCP. So I think yeah. we were probably smoking weed and PCP anyway. Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah. Bilo, slide up your joint. I'm going to take, we got a call here. Dark matters. Uh, no weed, huh? Yeah, I don't know. We didn't have. By the way, we're not supposed to show this on the Twitch feed. Oh, we're, we're not. I mean, go. Oh. GSY does it every week, but. Oh, okay. Uh, we're well, we're not. Uh, Is that true? <laughs> Hold on. So he has to do it off screen or something. I mean, so... I, I, gen- 
Uh, now I feel like an asshole. <laughs> no, no, no. It was important that I waited until after you did it for me to say something. Um, uh, okay. Here it says, <laughs> We discourage broadcasters from the use of marijuana on our services. If doing so violates your local laws, causes you to inflict harm upon yourself, or is a focus of your broadcast, this activity is, imp- is prohibited. So I guess we can. Okay, yeah. and I'll talk something else then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, thank you, Hunter. Give us, a, give us another topic. Okay, today is my nine year friend anniversary with Michael Bilo. Whoa! It's true! <laughs> oh my god. Our Facebook friend anniversary. Like a madman. Yeah. True. We've, we've, been, we've been friends for nine years, Michael, and I just want to say it's, it's good to be friends with you. It's very good to be friends with you, too. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so a weed story today. Um, I used to walk down to UCB. Uh, it was like a mile and a half uh, from basically House of Pies to UCB Franklin. And I would just wear this giant, giant jacket filled with beers uh, and just walk down the street and get blitzed as I walked there and then just watch uh, <laughs> Uh, their uh, game match run. And one night I did that, and then I went to Burns, and I drank uh, with uh, Angie Copian, uh, and then we went out back and we smoked a bunch of weed, and then we got in line for a uh, cage match, and Joan Ford came over and uh, took my ticket, <laughs> and I was there, and I was completely knocked out, and I just walked home without saying a word to anyone. I just got out of the line, turned, and walked the fuck home. Oh, and and uh, why? Oh, because I was too fucking stoned and drunk simultaneously. It was like a Jenga tower of my brain. Is Birds, so, is Birds still one. exists? Did it close? Because there's nobody, mm. there's nobody to go there <coughs> anymore. And, and all the shitty people are going to Poubell is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I, I, I drove past there once during the pandemic. I don't remember why. And it was like crowded with people, like even when restaurants were supposed to be closed. Yeah. Uh, so right now, I'm not high yet. By, Bilo, you got to make I, your screen. We can't see you right now. It, it's funny. Yeah, that Bilo did. died. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm not high. Uh, You're not high? Should I be? Uh, that depends entirely on you, I think. So he, here's, here's the weird thing. I'm, I'm becoming super vaccinated on Wednesday. Oh, me too. Which has made... I'm, I'm super anxious leading up to that, weirdly. So I've been trying to smoke less weed in the 420 days. Because it's like such a big build up, you know what I mean? But I have the vape in my left hand and just tell me to smoke it so I can fucking smoke it. Uh, well, I mean, you do what you want to do. I'm not going to peer pressure you. Brother Wags is going to smoke a, a big old bowl along, right. with, along with me. Let's do it. Smoke us. It's okay. great. We're toke. If it's yeah. legal in your jurisdiction. Right. What is it? What is it in your jurisdiction? What is it? What is a toke? It's a toke? hat that, the, uh, that a chef wears, but. Why? Why is it associated with uh, with drugs? What? Well, can I can I can I answer that with a non-answer and then I'll hop off until the after show? Sounds good. Hunter. Hunter, do you want to know how many I times have... you've called this show? By the way, according to the Call In Studio website, callinstudio.com, for all your podcast phone needs, do you take a guess how many times you've called into the show? Well, I remember when you forgot to say ninety-nine. Yeah. 119 total calls, it says. 119 <laughs> calls. Remember that 617 area code. It's Hunter, baby. That's not my area code. <laughs> I don't remember your area code. Well, this is fun. A186 This uh, is no, fun. I, Shut up. I, I don't even know what toad means because I didn't start smoking weed until well after college. It was a very weird college experience I had. So I don't know how to go from a bong, light a, anything but a bowl and a vape and edibles. So I'm not a smart weed person. 
What about suppositories, Hunter? Do they have weed suppositories? I would do that. I bet they. I, I bet they. I like putting stuff make, in my butt. Yeah, I bet they make CBD suppositories for for just wellness. For like hemorrhoids. Can can can, can I actually uh, say out loud something that I did just purchase and then deleted the email t to me sending the set up? Yeah, I just started smoking. Uh, the email to me saying that I purchased it so it could be a big confusing surprise when it showed up like three weeks later. <laughs> We've got no understanding of what Hunter said, and I'm pretty sure it's not because I'm high. I didn't catch it either. Uh, I, I bought a butt plug. Um, okay. But then I deleted the so that three weeks later I could be surprised when I found out that I bought a butt plug. Oh, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> if you bought a butt plug, give us a call. Yeah, give us a call. We'll take weed and butt plug stories tonight. Right. Not that this I'll show be, was ever on rails, but we're definitely off rails. We're definitely off the rails now, which is where I like mother of garble and my wife saying yes, they make they make weed suppositories. I'm very exciting, excited. All right, we've got another call. Dark Matters. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Is this uh, is this Chess Devil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet, but soon to be. Uh... Oh, uh, so, ice cream cone, I, I suppose. Hey, sure, sure. Give me a couple more white claws, then then we'll be good. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> now you're just chess. I got a weed story for you. Please. Chess. Just now I'm chess. Uh, I uh, I didn't really smoke pot much. I've smoked a lot since then, but uh, I used to play poker a lot in the early 2000s when it was real big. I played in a league, oh. and there was a bar right behind my apartment. And I would go to the bar on Thursday nights to play in a, in a poker league. And uh, one day, a guy was like, you want to go smoke? It's between the first and second game. I'm like, sure. So I go to his truck and uh, pulls out his bowl and we take a couple hits. It was the strongest weed I've ever had before. And uh, I'm already several drinks in. And I think to myself, okay, I'm getting really stoned. I'm just going to walk back to my apartment. And that's the last I remember. I woke up in the hospital. <gasps> they uh, Whoa. they actually found me behind the bar in an alley on the floor, and like I was unresponsive. Uh, yeah, so I had to go to the hospital. Apparently, it was laced with ketamine. Jeez. No. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's the only time I, I mean... guess I've done ketamine before. <laughs> and he wasn't like, it's what it's. This is laced with horse tranquilizers. No, I mean this is a, a shitty dive bar named. <laughs> well, what's the name? A shitty dive bar playing poker in a league. It's, he's not gonna tell you anything you need to know. I mean, what was his expectation that he could rob that he could rob you? No, I just think he was a scumbag and he liked smoking that. <laughs> but I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, that's intense. That's terrible. That's terrible. Yeah. People shouldn't how did they, like how that, did they find out it was laced with ketamine? They like drug test you or something? Yeah, when they took my blood, they <laughs> ran a drug test to see like what was in me, why yeah. I was passed out like this, and that's how they found out. Yeah. But yeah, were they so judgy? Like, that's that story. Were they judgy about about it? You know, I, I will say hospitals have never really been judgy. <laughs> the times I've been to them for stuff <laughs> that they should judge me for. So I gotta give it to the nurses. They're they're pretty good people. Shout out to the nurses. This is this whole show tonight is a tribute to the nation's nurses. We're dedicate we're dedicating people, this show to people the people are asking to America's if, you're, nurses. if you're high or stoned, Philo. I don't I don't see any change in your demeanor right now. Yeah, uh, I'm not there yet. I will be probably pretty soon. Like I can already it's feel. Good. Enjoy that 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 uh, that jazz cigarette, Milo, and I'll uh, I'll talk to you here in a little bit. <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. It is it is sativa. Sativa, uh, yikes! Should I sm thing. should I smoke weed? We have some. I don't really want to. Though. I really I don't want to because I don't want to be. I'm gonna get hungry if I do it, and then I'm gonna break my diet. And I'm not gonna have a sexy bud. 
We got a voicemail. Should I, should I, um, should I play this voicemail <laughs> that we got? Yeah, you gotta play, you gotta play the voicemail. 818-650-3275 is the number if you want to leave us a voicemail. Uh, this is one that we got. Uh, wait. Oh, I have to play it from here. All right. So here's our here's our voicemail that we got uh, a few days ago. All right. Bless you. I you several notices in the mail that you have yet to extend your warranty past the factory cutoff. And this is a courtesy call to renew your warranty before we close the file. If you are interested in renewing your auto warranty now, please press 5 now, or press 9 to be removed from our list. Ah, uh, yes. That was our... That was our voicemail. I want more voicemails. People just call and leave us voicemails. We'll play them. We'll play... We'll play yeah. them. We'll play, we'll play auto warranty spam. That's how badly we want voicemails. I feel like the nation's teenagers have not discovered this phone number yet, and it disappoints me. It is disappointing. We gotta put this show on on the TikTok. Should, wait, you know I mean? should we call them? Should we? I have the number. That for the nation's the teenagers. Now. Should we call them? No, the the oh. people. Yes, of course, of course, we should talk to them. Where I mean, can I see it. Here it is. Okay. Wait. That's my friend's phone number. Okay. Want to make sure. Okay. All right. Let's call the. Let's call the. Do you think they have people there? Now. Uh, I mean, I think there is likely a call center in India or the Philippines. So we'll see. All right. I'm gonna call the them right now. I wish I had. Like, thank cars. God. Thank it. God. My car is extended. My car's warranty. I, I was so worried it's about busy. it. It's busy. There's so many people calling this place. It's busy. I'm trying to call them. Busy? Again. Busy. No. It still says busy. This sucks. I'm trying. What, I'm, I'm having this big warranty problem. And now I can't even get them. You can't even ex you can't extend your warranty Easy. even though you've got this thing that you're you're really worried about with your car. Let's get Drunky Frankie and Stony Michael. Says the, says Brother Wags, and I read that as Drunky Frunky, oh, man. which to I, me is is quite is quite funny. I've taken mushrooms twice in my life, and they were both really good times. I thought you were about to say horrible, but. That's no, wonderful those to hear. Like two this, this... of the most fun experiences of life. We've we've talked about doing uh, about doing other uh, doing a true yeah. Uh, drug we're gonna show have, you like to... like, have you do like drugs, like have you do like drugs, drugs on the real show, like not the real. Then the real show's not the right on the live show. The live show. When are we gonna do one of those? We should do like a live show. We could like host for it at ten percent. We could host it at my house or your house, and we could just get like, like eight people in the audience or something, and still do yeah. it on Twitch. That, that would be cool. Be, we could do it outdoors. Be fun. That'd be fun. Yeah. And we can get Rich to come play music. We should do. Let's do that. Hell yeah, that would be fun. Haunty has an idea. Keep oh, getting boy. high. It's like already ten thirty. <laughs> I get it. I, I'm just gonna, I'm sorry. By the time you get high, it's going to be like, the show's going to be over. I don't know. What, it's hard for me to see the end of the joint. Sarah Runner saying, don't talk about the devil unless you want to summon him. Now, this, now you're talking my language. I want to summon the devil. Dark Matters. <laughs> this is Dark Matters. So here, here we at. Uh, the one place I know we can get uh, to be uh, a venue <coughs> for, uh, <coughs> to them. So let's rent like a shitty secret <coughs> Let's rent the 80s that's cheap that no one wants to go to. And then let's just fill up an AMC and do our show there. Wait, and we I can couldn't hear you over of, like, Bilo this. coughing. Bilo was coughing and you guys are on the same audio channel, so I couldn't hear you. That's funny. Okay, so here, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, the only venue I can think that is still open for us to perform at is AMC Movie Theaters. Okay, yeah. If, if we did like a private screening 
at an AMC. If we got a private screening for ninety nine dollars of some movie from the eighties that we don't give a shit about, yeah, because uh, like the new movie, like Godzilla vs Kong is three hundred, but like yeah. if you want to see the Land Before Time, uh, we could do that and just ask them like. Hey, can you just turn the volume down a little bit and just do a full show in front of the land before time? Yeah, although the audio might be a problem. Do you think we could tell them? We could tell them that we're deaf and we just yeah. want to watch the picture with subtitles. <laughs> I, I think at that point they'd just be into it, <laughs> right? But how? What yeah. if they're like? But what if they see what we're? We got it. We got it. I'm into this idea. Yeah. Me too. We should do. We Don't should break into it. the ArcLight or UCB Sunset and do a show from there. We should. We should do a show from the ArcLight. We would go to extra jail for that. But we also never be... emailed the guy that owns UCB Sunset to ask him if we can use the theater. Yeah, I feel like he's gonna be sort of a dick about it, but we should definitely uh, email him. He's gonna be cool, man. You don't know. You don't know these. Ah, no, he's finance bros. They're the coolest no, guys. He's, <laughs> he's like finance guys who own five buildings uh and like that's that's it he's i don't really know about them all right you're high now that's nice i'm happy now i was happy before but i'm even more happy that's a great idea uh, to rent, yeah to rent out a movie theater <laughs> but we have to have tell them that we have to tell them we're deaf well, so we should get a movie that's like two and a half hours long. <laughs> yeah, no, we should say we should ask if we can do a screening of Satan Congo. Yeah. Oh man, we could just run my Blu-ray. I still have not watched my Blu-ray of uh, Satan Tango. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not. That's what we should we should do as part of our twenty twenty whatever twenty one hour show. Yeah. We, that's when I'll get to finally watch that movie. That's seven hour Hungarian uh, slow movie <laughs> uh we yeah, can do it's... like a but we should do improv where we uh overdub it or something uh that'd be fun that'd they be do very, that, very I think, fun isn't that the newbies it... show on this channel does that we should request that they do uh, satan tango yeah people oh, would appreciate yeah. that jay pill saying andy warhol's empire you know i've seen andy warhol's empire it's just an eight eight hour shot of the empire state building <laughs> I've sat. I've sat. Oh, the, I've sat oh, through man. the whole fucking thing, baby, at the MoMA. Oh my god, insanity! I went to a Andy Warhol exhibit in Mexico City and uh, gained gained a lot of respect for him as an artist. It was. Uh, I like to see his process. Four hundred and eighty-five minutes, Empire. <laughs> That's uh, too much. <laughs> What Maria Bamford is sleeping on camera? Can we? Can we get? Can we get? We? I mean, she lives really close to me. We should just get her. I yeah. have connections to. Maria she Bamford. does. She does a lot of. She's. She's. You know, very nice about doing stuff. I bet we could. She was. Wasn't she on the pack con or whatever? She's. Yeah. She's the definitely. Fundraiser. Yeah. I don't know. She I does. She was. a lot of free shows. We should get her to do this show. I know. I mean, I know people that we've got the connect. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Forrest Gump is a better idea, Hunty. I agree. Man, I'm really excited about this idea. I'm excited about you calling us eight one eight six five zero three two seven five. Brother Wags. Oh. Who in this chat doesn't know Maria Bamford? Me. Yeah. I don't know her, but I know someone who is. I know a person who is like a very One close to 20 friend of people. Hers. Oh my god, we have to, to watch. For, you know, I've never seen Forrest Gump. That, why would you want to watch it? It's like we didn't start the fire as a movie. <laughs> That's a good dig. Uh, this show is is is. I, this show is NC, X. Yeah. It's NC seventeen. That's for sure. Yeah. That's true. X rated. Yeah. There's really no yeah. penetration. So. Hard to get an X rating off of that. What the fuck? Oh, man. I like being called a sinner. 
Yeah. Are we so wait, we broke we did this we already did a show where you broke all seven deadly sins, didn't we? I did. Yeah. Uh it was pretty it was a pretty memorable one because I almost threw up from it from being Quite given a five pound burrito and eating oh, and eating man. one pound of it. Should play that clip again. Yeah. Lust Lust was of course the best. Uh, uh I'm hungry. I'm uh yeah. I'm I'm good. I can I see I see how this is stony. You know, it's a stony yeah. feeling. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm not leading the conversation forward. Let's let's be honest. Okay. <laughs> uh No, I was just I was thinking I was thinking today that like, you know, I still have not gotten to uh gotten to play with Reggie. Not Reggie doesn't. I know he doesn't do too much right now, but you know. Oh, Reggie does a. Reggie is like, I did not go to his doctor's appointment, but apparently everybody at the doctor's office was like, "Wow, this baby is like advanced. He's advanced. Oh, he like I he love can it. Like lift his head up and smile, and like he can like oh, track yes. objects which he's not supposed to be able to do yet. It's great. My God, he's the best. Uh -oh. I fed him a bottle for the first time today. He's learning how to yeah. drink from the bottle. That was cute. Yeah. I love my boys. Love the Gutman brothers. Oh my god. Yeah. I call them the Gutman brothers. And then Oscar, Oscar like likes to scream stuff. Um. So I say, Oscar, say the Gutman brothers, and he goes, he goes, the Gutman brothers. <laughs> I love it. The Gutman brothers. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I mean, I want to be a filmmaking seen... duo. Oh, they'd be. Great! What a tribute! What a tribute to to you know Papa Cohen that Joel and Ethan, you know, Father Cohen must be must be felling over his pair of movie making sons. Yeah, I once saw the Cohen brothers at the Sony Salad Bar. That might be my greatest uh, moment in my life. I uh... Ethan Cohen checked out, paid for a salad in front of me in line. Oh my god. That's the most starstruck I've ever been in my life. And <laughs> that and the time I rode in the elevator with Ira Glass. Did you say I'm Frankie Gutman to hear him to hear him introduce himself? I'm Ira Glass. No, I just stood in the elevator and tried really hard not to make eye contact because I was nervous. Yeah, no, that's probably what I would do too. That's probably what I've I been do. around famous or people. <laughs> Oh, man. Chad is wild tonight. Chad is wild eyes. tonight. Wait, make your screen brighter because I want people to see your eyes. <laughs> if you look high. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's what we were doing, so that makes sense. Uh, I can't yeah, believe yeah. I couldn't call this warranty place. That's really pissing me off. Uh, that would have been such a fun, a fun call. It would have been. I, I'm sure it just goes to the same receptionist at CAA that the rest of our calls go to. I know. I, I, so I googled auto warranty scam phone number, but it's all articles warning me against calling the number. Mm. It's like, no, I want the number. We got a vet. We've got a vet. This you know the scams for the next show we should find all of the scams, the scams out there and, and then try to yeah it's kind of hard to do when we do a night show you know what i mean it would be so fun to like yeah well we'll look at the we'll look at the scams in australia and new zealand right now and then we'll call them because oh, they've got to have people up. A new zealand a new zealand car warranty scam <laughs> That would be funny if we started calling it. If we were calling Domino's with these extended car warranties wait, with wait, New Zealandish have... accents. Let me call. Let me look for potential spam on my phone, and then I can. Uh... We can call the number. Wait, no, I don't want to dial. I want to. Damn it! I just dialed some Ooh. number in Cincinnati. Why do you, what is do you happening? Think Chris what is, is happening? Doing cameo. 
What is happening in the chat? There's a what? confrontation going on in the chat. Why? Why did? Why is Chris Hansen doing cameo? What? We that was. Why is Chris? I know it was last week. I'm just. I'm still curious about it. <laughs> Ice cream cone just sent us a, a porn magazine. <laughs> Let's see. Call it you. Oh, it's, oh, it's probably in the this is very matters to this you is now. very chaste though. They're in they're they're all clothed in this quote unquote porn. Uh, uh Dark Matter Show at gmail dot com. Send us an email. Send us an email. Michael Bilo, it's or it's almost it. four twenty. Michael Bilo, who is to my left, your right, is getting high tonight. Give us a call. Tell us about your weed stories. How is this an April twenty twenty one magazine? This is well, I suppose it was mean? acquired. I suppose I mean I guess this was acquired digitally. So you know, whatever. But. This is a this is a new magazine. This is not like a. Uh, this is not. Uh, someone made it this month, or someone made it for publication in this month. This was a recently produced, pornographic magazine. <laughs> should we call? Should we what? call? Um, a oh, phone sex. The problem is it's too. I Google Ooh. phone sex free. Don't pay for play. Satisfy lonely ah! housewives. AshleyMadison.com. Uh, ChicagoReader.com. Oh my god. Ten phone sex numbers with free trials. This magazine is over seventy megabytes. Okay, I'm reviewing the magazine. You are so. I suppose. I enter an invalid phone number. Um. Yeah, Stephanie got some good news. The pediatrician said she could smoke a little bit of weed and still breastfeed. Oh. So that was big, big news in the Gutman house. Oh, it won't let me call this. These all just. These all just look like ads for bad underwear. Uh, finally. Wait. I'm referring to Welcome the Welcome to Live Link. For magazine. English, press 1. Para Espanol, oprimado. For English, press 1. Para Espanol, oprimado. So there's the, in the chat, there's the horny crew and the honey You seem crew. to be having problems. Thanks for calling. Goodbye. Wow, we can't even do this. Can we now send a comma? Like, if we know, if we know how to get to that no, stage. No, system just... is... The system is um, a little, you know, archaic. Yeah. It's it's basic. This is a basic yeah. system. Gotcha. I'll try doing a comma. All right, try a comma. Uh, and then a one to see if that'll get us through that first menu. One. Para español, no, it didn't, it didn't work. All right, well. Well. For English, press one. Para español. On dark matters. This hey, is dark call matters. the porn guys up. Hey, what's up, Stony? Call the porn guys up, and I'll dial the phone number for you. Call the like porn. I did last time. Call the porn guys. Yeah, the, or whatever number you were just calling, and you need to do a number. Yeah, I, I can do that for you. Okay, perfect. Well, I may have to hang up at some point. Hold on. How do I? I'm gonna whisper it to you in the chat. Boom. Nice. Boom. Love whispering. I like whispering in general because it's soft. Well, no, I mean, you call it, and I can do the touchstone thing. Oh. I don't think I can call it. Oh. oh. Nice. Yeah, I'll just stay on mute and do that for you. Oh, uh, who is the? Who is the? The. What the a devil hero. Mouth? Can you also enter your credit card? Beep ba 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 ba. All right. Well, oh it's actually ringing. God. Did they make it ring now? Thank you for calling. Press seven to continue. Wait, this is different. 
This is the so same number, seven. but it's a different message. Press 7 to continue. Welcome to Live Links. For English, press 1. Para español. Oh, you must be 18 or older to continue. Oh, no. Men, press 1. Women, press 2. Oh, which one? Does it, <laughs> press 1, press if 1. If you have a membership, please enter your five-digit number now. Or press yeah. the pound key to continue. Obviously, we have... A For the best experience one. with singles from your local area, next Just time you call, nine, four, please two, dial zero. the following number. 818-630-9000. That's 818-630-9000. Wow. There it's are 189 the men in your region. Whoa. Now you can choose which language you want to chat in. For English, press 1. For it. Spanish, oh. press 2. Necesita grabar un saludo para presentarse con otras personas. Oh, Primero, no. vamos a grabar el nombre que quieres usar. Si tu tono, grabe solo su nombre. Ahora, vamos a grabar su saludo. Si es... Selección inválida. Hola. Si está listo para grabar, oprima uno. Hola. Por favor, empiece a grabar después de... Hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué está pasando? Sí, sí. Smoke more weed. I, I, I thought it would be funny, but now I'm just confused. Sorry. All right, hold on. I'm going to call call back again. I don't know why. It's so confusing. I think you can hear the rings now. That's really exciting. I can't hear the rings. Oh, I heard a ring when I called. Mm -hmm. Hey, Violet, who was the 14th president? Uh, Andrew Johnson. Thank you for calling. No shit. Press fix Pierce. to continue. Whoa, it's a different number this time. Welcome to Live Links. For English, press 1. Para español, oprimado. Right. You must be 18 or older to continue. Men, press 1. Women, press 2. <laughs> do men, right? Yes. If you have a membership, please enter your five-digit number now. Like or press the pound key to continue. <laughs> Look at you. For the best experience with singles from your local area, next time you call, please dial the following number. 818 818- Six three zero nine zero zero zero. That's eight one eight six three zero nine zero zero zero. There are one hundred eighty four men in your region. Now you can choose which language you want to chat in. For English, press one. For Spanish, you need to record a greeting to introduce right, yourself to the other greeting. callers. First, let's record the name you want to use. After the tone, record just your first name. Bilo. Frankie. Now let's record your greeting. If you're ready to record, press 1. To hear tips for recording, record after the tone. Hit any key when you're done. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just uh, kind of sitting here getting high, smoking a blunt. I uh, just want to see who's up and uh, have a chat. If you're happy with your greeting, press 1. Great. To hear how it sounds, press 2. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just uh, kind of sitting here getting high, smoking a blunt. Uh, I just want to see who's up in that, uh, Yeah, you think, that's gonna, you think that's gonna be appealing to men? I don't know. If you're happy with your but greeting, it has to be press us. one. To hear how it, it sounds, press else, two. Re record it, press three. To repeat this menu, press nine. I don't know. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. Are you assuming? Are you ass your greeting assuming? is now being reviewed by the moderator. There are 183 oh, guys in your region. For a safe connection, keep personal information like your last name, phone number, address, or details about your workplace confidential until you've had time to get to know the other person. And never share your credit card info with anyone on the system. We will no, never you ask for your credit card right info unless you contact us to make a purchase. By using this service, you agree to our terms of use and privacy policy, which you can view on our website. Oh we assume God. no responsibility for the personal meetings. This is if you're a caller right you're now. not Why interested in, you can block them so callers. you won't hear each other by pressing 7. And if you hear something really inappropriate, pressing 7 again will report them to the moderator. <laughs> hey, I'm Nicholas. I'm 25 years old, uh, 5 foot 10, dark brown hair, light brown eyes. I go to school part-time studying to be a history professor one day, and I go to work at a library part-time as well. Sounds nice. This is so I'm just on here with me for uh, a long-term relationship, a girlfriend. Oh, uh, no. Who's kind oh, I thought caring, this was for uh, Who gets my sense of humor. I would have... me laugh as well. And, you know, that I can just be happy being around, hanging out. Uh, you know, watching TV. I'm shocked this man is ostensibly not gay. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in getting to know me, this or so just talking to me, whatever, 
Uh, send me a message or connect with me. How do we do that? To connect live with this caller, press 1. Press one send press a message one. or an icebreaker, press 2. Next greeting, press 3. Add this member to your hot list, press 4. Oh Return to the beginning wow. of the greetings, press 5. Play the previous greeting, press 6. Block this caller so you won't hear them again, press 7. Hear this caller's location, press 8. This Repeat this greeting location. and menu choices, press 9. For help with using the live connector, Press star. Wait. To change your greeting, switch to chatting in Spanish, so not, or yeah, leave the connector, press the pound key. Nice. Please oh record God. your invitation for this caller to join you in a private conversation. Record after the tone. Hit any key when you're done. Hey there, bud. Uh, uh, just here smoking, you know, smoking some weed. You know, just seeing us out there. Want to complain. Feel like you have some complaints, man. And, uh, yeah, you know, it'd be cool if we talked, I think. For sure. And I'm recording this. It's, it's you know, it's a California thing. Frank is laughing. It sounds. Press uh -oh. 1 to accept it any time. Just accept it, just accept it. Hey there, bud. Please hold while that caller listens to your connection request. Oh my to God. cancel your request this at any so... time, just press the pound key. I can't key. believe this is free. Imagine. Oh, what is oh, this Oh, he's going to listen to this message. Some live person is going to listen to this message. This music, I hope this music's not copyrighted. Sorry, Rich Dwight, and this is our new music. This is how I dance. Like, actually kind of good. Oh, right. Wow, wow, wow. This guy's going to say yes, no, right? Well, I thought this was for... No, there's no, was there's no way. There's no way. way. So there's no way. Yes. I mean, he's clearly gay. He just, what? like, what? wants Wait, what to be... He's, really gay. he's so pretending to be moment. straight. He's, no, no, no. He's, he's. I think he is gay, but he's like pretending to be straight and wants to be. Why would he? Do, to why be would he gay. do this? Twenty twenty one. Because he's got. He's got a complex about being gay, probably. From, what is this you know, analysis a difficult based upbringing. Of... What do you mean? This is based off of the uh, like. The only communities like these that survive, uh, that like a like sexy communities are gay communities. You don't have like. Collections of straight people uh, calling each other to to have phone sex, <laughs> and so if somebody so is if somebody is like looking for a woman, but you can discover them looking for other men. I'm pretty sure that's what this, what that is. This is so this is like. I like the first track better, but I like this one too. This is this is this, like uh, this is like the begin uh, this is like the beginning of a uh, a nineties comedy starring like Jim Belushi, <laughs> or it's like it's like Jim Jim Belushi and a, you know a, a talking raccoon or something <laughs> called like Hey, hey Robo Pilo. Yeah, Stripes, Stripes and Buster or something like that. This is so goddamn boring. Jim Belushi is like this driving is so in, his, in his convertible no, down the or, sunset strip. No one strip. will ever respond to us. Maybe we should do women then. I mean... If it's for straight people. I think that was our miscalculation. Also, what, what, what's up with this guy? Is he thinking about it? Like, why are we still on hold? I assume he blocked us. Well, I, but why would nice he still to... play this music then? Is this like a, is he trying to get back at us by just leaving us on hold? Could be. <laughs> this is kind of the best thing that could have possibly happened. If you're just joining us, we call a live chat line and we put in a request to a nice young man, but he's he's deciding whether to chat with us or not. I guess.
I can't listen to another track. Of course you can. Also what sucks. are you talking about? This is like, whoa. I like. What is this? I love this. That this. caller isn't ready to connect live at this time. Uh, hey, ladies, uh, handsome, 32-year-old gentleman in Los Angeles. Love to talk to you. Six foot, 185. I think it's a I'm in the construction <laughs> yeah. field. Brown Wait, hair, let's brown go. Eyes. Can we go back to the menu and switch? To Ow. connect live and switch to chatting in Spanish, press 1. To unblock all sí. callers, press 2. To change your greeting, sí. press 3. To leave the connector, press 4. To repeat these choices, press Damn. Hey, ladies, uh, hands. To switch to chatting in Spanish, yeah. press one. Oh to unlock oh, call all back. callers, press two. We'll call to back. change your greeting, press right, three. To back. leave the connector. Why not? What else are we going to do? Let's call this back. By the way, you're getting high. Er, are you getting high? Er, wait, I typed in the phone number. Man, man, man. man I just want to hear Do you think we can get that call that Call the 818 number. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Ba ba da ba, ba da ba, ba ba da ba. Welcome to Live Links. Nice. For English, press one. Para español, oprima dos. Welcome back to Live Links. Live Links is for callers 18 and over. If you're under 18, hang up now. Guys, press one to talk to women. Okay. Women, press two to talk to guys. Oh, they were pretty clear about that, huh? Also, if you have a membership, enter it now. Otherwise, press the pound key. Cool. I love that they have their version of, you know. We'd like to offer you a free gold. trial, a $10 value, so you can start having fun and meeting great local oh, women right it's now. Free for women to get your to free trial now, press 1. To it's... get your free trial later, press the pound key. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right. Hold on. You Let's... have 30 minutes remaining. Yes! Your free trial will expire in three days and it must be used from this phone number have fun cool. there are 66 english-speaking women and 30 spanish-speaking women nice. in your region right. now you can choose which language you want to chat in for english press right. one for spanish you need to record a greeting to introduce yourself to the other callers first let's record the name you want to use after the tone record just your first name frankie now let's record your greeting. If you're ready to record, press 1. To hear tips for recording a good greeting, record after the tone. Hit any key when you're done. If you're happy with your greeting, press 1. <laughs> Wait, to hear how something. it sounds, press 2. Re-record it, press 3. To repeat this menu, it. press 9. Wait, am I doing that? Record after the okay. tone. Hit any key Wait. when you're done. Hey ladies, what's up? My name is Frankie. I'm hanging out here in Los Angeles. Uh, you're trying to see what's out there. Uh, you know, I'm a pretty trustworthy guy. If you're happy with your greeting, <laughs> press one. <laughs> to hear how it sounds, press two. Uh, to re record it. Leave press that. Three. Leave that. To Whatever repeat this there, menu, press that. nine. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. We your greeting is now being reviewed by the moderator. Uh, Oh there are 68 women in yeah. your region. For a safe connection, <laughs> keep personal information like your last name, phone number, address, or details about your are work. Are they going to charge this phone and number like a bunch of money? To to know the other person and never they share your credit card info with anyone on the system. We will never ask for your credit card info unless you contact us to make a purchase. By using this service, you agree to our terms of use and oh. privacy policy, which you can view on our website. We assume no responsibility for personal meetings. If you hear a caller you're not interested in, you can block them you so you won't hear each other by pressing like 7. Ladies, and right? if you hear something really inappropriate, pressing 7 again will report them to the moderator. You need to re-record your greeting because we can't understand it. Please speak clearly <laughs> into the phone so that everyone can All hear right. what you have to say about yourself JPS and what you're looking for. Be sure to turn down loud music or the television before you record. To re-record your greeting, press 1. For Now let's record your greeting. If you're ready to record, press 1. To hear tips for recording a good greeting and some examples, press 2. If you'd like to pause the system Ow. to prepare what you're going to say, record after the tone. Hit any key when you're done. Hey, what's up? My name is Frankie. I'm looking for somebody who's emotionally intelligent, first and foremost.